Hello, welcome to the next short tutorial series that I'm going to be doing on um, doing a water feature on the layout. Uh, out here I've got the dam area, which is just here. Um, it's foam board and I've just covered it with plaster um, and put in a, a small embankment around the edge here with an overflow going down towards the track. Uh, the method I'm going to use on this one is two-part epoxy resin. Um, to make the water, um, so we'll uh, get started. The first thing I need to do in this first tutorial is just on preparation. So with the way that plaster is porous, um, if I was to pour resin straight into this dam now, it would soak through the plaster and eat away at the foam underneath and create a god-awful mess. So to avoid that we want to prep the surface and get it ready to um, pour, well we'll paint it after we've prepped the surface and then pour our resin, our two part resin uh, for the water. So what we're gonna do for it is a simple method. We're just going to use some PVA, um, white glue, Elms glue, um, and just coat the entire area that we're going to pour the resin and that will create a barrier between the plaster um, and the resin and stop any of the resin from soaking through the plaster and eating away at our foam underneath. So it's a very simple technique, um, but very effective. I found this out the hard way doing a diorama. I did a um, creek and I didn't prep the surface. I poured the resin and it ate away at all of my foam board underneath. So without further ado, so I've just got a brush and my glue and all I'm going to do is put a nice generous amount of white glue down like that and then just use my brush and just paint it spread it around and just create a nice solid barrier uh, and try not to have any gaps where this the uh, the resin might soak through. So we just keep painting away. As you know, white glue, aramis glue, uh, wood glue, PVA, all dries clear, so it's not gonna cause us any issues down the track. Um, it holds paint, so we shouldn't have any issues there either. And like I said, all we just wanna do is make sure we've got that nice barrier for protection. We just keep adding a glue. Um, at the moment here uh, where I am in um, Victoria in Australia it's a 40 odd degree day Celsius so it's very hot today it's not too bad out here in the shed on the layout but it won't take long for this to dry at all and uh, I'll come back once it's dry and do the next part of the tutorial which will be painting and getting the colors down ready to pour our resin and uh, I'll also be tinting the resin um, with a slight muddy watercolour as most dams are. Once we pour the resin and it sets um, then I'll add some rippling effects on top of the water and that'll just be using some Mod Podge. Um, we'll should go into that when we get there. So all I'm trying to do is get a nice liberal coat, trying to make sure I don't leave any holes uh, so that there's nothing for the resin to find and soak through down to our plaster. So we just keep working away at it, building it up, adding a little bit more where I think it might be a little bit thin. Hopefully, if we do it right, like I said, when we pour our resin, it won't soak through and uh, eat away at our plaster. So we definitely don't want that. Now you will see little air bubbles form as you uh, as you paint it on and spread it around. So we just want to make sure that they get covered and that uh, we have a nice barrier for protection there.
can always come back and do another coat once this one dries. Um, if you're that worried about it, I probably will because I really don't want to destroy any of the work around here on the pastoral loop. Um, it's been a good <laughs> two years or so since I've actually been out here on the layout. Uh, so I'm just starting to get back into it a little bit. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that for a first coat. I'll let that dry and then uh, off camera I might come back later on once this dries and put another one down before I start the pour with the, um, the resin and the painting and things like that over the top. All right. Cleanup's easy, PVA, water based. So just put our brush in a little bit of water there, give it a bit of a clean out. Make sure we put the lid back on our glue. So just wash it out and let it sit in that cup of water so it gets it all out ready for the next time round. And so I'll leave that here where it is. You can see little bubbles forming now and just popping. Um, so that's why when it dries, I'll come back and I'll just put another coat over it and just to be sure, and then move on to painting. So like I said, very simple method you know, to create that barrier. And the main purpose is of course, to make sure that our epoxy resin doesn't soak through and eat away our plaster. So that's it for now. I'll leave it there and then I'll come back uh, with the next video after I've done the second coat and we'll do some painting and get our groundwork ready for the resin. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm sure there's many other ways that this can be done, uh, but this is just the, the easiest and quickest method that I've found to be able to do it. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you on the next one. So from me and Forest Creek Model Railway, that's it for now and uh, stay tuned in. Um, like the video, subscribe, uh, make sure you keep up to date. Feel free to check out the rest of the videos I've got here on Forest Creek Model Rail Railroad. And um, yeah, we'll move on soon. So from me again, thank you and I'll see you shortly.